The role of technology today, I guess, is that it's part of everyday life. It's about automating, it's about taking load off people, being able to control the power in your house. Hey, you're not home, so I can turn that off and we can save some energy. Technology for me is really about being able to customise it and build it so that you can make sure that you're getting the most out of it and it's helpful for you and for the customers or users or participants in your kind of activities. So the reason I got into technology, I had a, an amazing high school teacher I think, who said to me, oh, I've never had a girl top technology. And I was like, all right, game on. But the more I got into it, the more I could see the difference I was making in society. I've been able to work on software that controls trains that drive thousands of kilometres with iron ore in them. And I've been able to build technology that is working at Australia Zoo to be able to help their wildlife hospital. And I've had a lot of times where people have said to me, oh, I want to do something that saves the world or changes the world. I don't think that a lot of people understand that technology really is that vehicle these days. So the qualities that you need to succeed in technology aren't the ones that everyone initially thinks about. It's a lot about persistence and confidence, uh, which is really challenging for a lot of people. Unlike a lot of careers, we actually encourage people to make mistakes because the sooner you make the mistake, the sooner you can fix it. And the sooner you can fix it, the less it costs. The technology itself is still evolving. It changes at such a rapid pace and you have to be really prepared to be able to go back to square one a lot. <laughs> so the main difference between our Bachelor of ICT and our Bachelor of Computer Science programs is really breadth versus depth. So in our Bachelor of ICT program, it's one of the broadest, most general ICT and technology programs in South East Queensland. And that's its strength. You get to build in lots of different types of experience and apply your knowledges across the field of technology. Whereas in our Bachelor of Computer Science, it's our depth. We ensure that we've got secure programming with strong foundations that makes things work in our society. So from building IoT devices that might control our power network through to wearable technology that can help doctors and nurses to be able to monitor patients, we're really taking that strong foundation to make sure that we're building the correct programs. So for me, the reason to pick USC is that these are the newest programs in South East Queensland. And the great thing is we have these incredible facilities. This is the most technological campus in Australia. And our students actually get the opportunity from time to time to go behind the scenes, to look in the switch cupboards, to see how everything works. The other thing we do really well at USC is we have a really strong engagement with industry. So from having our industry partners come in and talk to us, to having our students going out for internships, all of our programs are regularly shown and discussed with industry to make sure that it is meeting their current needs. So some of our graduates are working at large insurance companies doing data analysis. We have people working in a healthcare context, being able to build technologies and identify savings and ways that we can better treat people. We've got people working in defence. We have people working in water and utilities and councils. There's so many different places that you can go with your degree from us. So the most amazing thing about the future of technology is really it's what we make it how we choose to shape the future for the first time ever people can see the value in telehealth QR codes became useful my passion is really around wearable technology and how we can use that technology to help people particularly in health and wellness so there are so many myths about technology and the type of people that do technologies. There's this strange idea that only people who do technology or live in technology are these stereotypical nerd type people that can't talk to people and live in basements and drink energy drinks. I'm not that and my colleagues aren't that and my students aren't that and it's so much about the melting pot and the diversity that we can create by having all types of people involved in the industry. So the piece of advice that I would give uh, to anyone coming into the technology space is be ready to grow and stretch. Embrace the problems, embrace the challenges, embrace the failures and mistakes that you're going to make because that turns you into the incredible technologist and person that you're going to be in the future.